a lot of Hong Kong tech stocks are showing this pattern, which is called inverted hand shoulder. So it's like a head and then the two shoulders left and right, but then you look at it inverted. Today, this video, I'll be sharing what is an inverted hand shoulder and be illustrating that with one stock and that's Xiaomi and to talk about how we can use it for short term trading. And the nice news is that today's video is proudly sponsored by Macquarie. An inverted hand shoulder pattern is a bullish reversal pattern. So what is a reversal? It means that before it, the movement must be a downward movement here. And then you start to see certain form of the reversal. First, where you can find a like a, a small little like a left shoulder. And then you're going to see a deeper move down. That will give you the head. And you're going to find that price either had a higher high versus the previous high. So this is like a high and then you can make like a higher high. So this type of a head and shoulder pattern is good because it says that the new high is uh, stronger than the previous high. And when it moves down, it shows a low that is higher than the previous low. With this, I call this a left shoulder and then this would be the head and then this one would be your right shoulder. And there is a need for confirmation of this inverted hand and shoulder pattern to confirm that price had reversed upwards and that would be a break of its neckline and how to draw that neckline that would be to uh, draw the two highs that means to connect the two highs in other words right if you see this as your left shoulder and if you see these as your head and this one as your right shoulder then the two highs would be your unpaid all right, so priced if it's closed above the neckline, so this is your neckline, then this will confirm that this is a bullish reversal pattern. Okay, of course that the inverted hand shoulder can exist in many forms, such as for example, it can be looking like this, where your neckline can be a near to horizontal line or a line that's slightly slanting downwards or even slightly slanting upwards. The whole idea is that very important after a deeper correction, there should be a sign that priced is not that bearish as versus the previous uh, low okay so it should form a higher low here and ultimately to break through a resistance let's take a look at the longer term pattern of xiaomi it seems to suggest that there was an inverted head and shoulder pattern here and this is that pattern let's left shoulder this one was the head and it has extended right shoulder so in this case here the neckline appears to be somewhere around here there was a breakthrough above it but soon it fell below here right but what i'm trying to bring to your attention is that the nearer current pattern that's happening at this this moment here uh, let me just share the candlestick chart Xiaomi moves up at this point here that means it starts to goes up and it starts to do its uh, correction downwards uh, somewhere around here it, there is a, a sign of a possible inverted head and shoulder pattern here now why do I say that that's because if I were to switch this into a line chart and also into a day chart uh, that's where uh, we start to see signs of an inverted head and shoulder pattern. Uh, for example, this would be your left shoulder. This one is your head and potentially around here would be starting to form that right shoulder. So in this case, we would be able to draw in a neckline connecting somewhere about this. And if price is to close above the neckline, so this would complete that inverted head and shoulder pattern to suggest that the downward reversal is no longer true and is showing signs of it going up. But one few things I'd like to bring out is that number one, at the place that I'm suspecting that it is a possible a right shoulder here now this place here would be a place where there's a lot and plenty of a support level so that means that i'm not only looking at the pattern i'm also looking at whether at the place that it forms that potential right shoulder whether there would be a lot of multiple resistance resistance that is giving a possible support at this moment so we can see that the previous resistance became a support and right now it's also becoming a very strong support right and that previous resistance resides somewhere around twelve dollars and seventy cents uh, before xiaomi broke that uh, nice little resistance up here 
Okay, we are coming to the very strong support at this moment. Of course, that if you draw in the neckline, the neckline would be somewhere around this price here, and this would be the neckline. Okay, so the neckline, if I were to just do a measurement, would be falling around 1360. We do have two key levels coming up for Xiaomi. One level is a uh, temporary support right now at $12.70. And of course, to confirm that inverted head and shoulder pattern, then that will be 1360. Invest Investors who wants to tap into the short-term price movement here might want to consider a call warrant at the support level and also uh, if price is to break further out of this resistance to continue the bullishness with another call warrant. However, if 1360 remains a resistance and if the view is bearish, then put warrants can be considered. To find the relevant warrants, you can go into the warrant tools and under warrant selector, choose Xiaomi warrant. So this scroll down because it's X and here you go, you have Xiaomi warrants. And if you are bullish, choose a call warrant. If you are bearish, choose a put warrant here. Uh, one thing to take note, trading into warrants or any derivative instruments would be high risk and you need to evaluate whether the instrument is suitable for your trading needs. This is a quick video on my views and what I'm looking at right now in terms of the patterns that I'm seeing for some of the Hong Kong tech stocks. A lot of other tech stocks are showing, uh, you know, patterns like inverted head and shoulder patterns or double bottom, which are essentially bullish reversal pattern. Do explore more into this concept. Again, head into warrens.com.sg to understand more about how you can use these instruments to tap into short-term trading, especially when overall the trend of a lot of Hong Kong stocks, they are still down but showing some bullish reversal signal. All right, I come to the end of this video and uh, if you do have any other stocks that you want me to cover, do leave me a note in the comment and I'll be very happy to cover them and I see you in my next video.